Hi there, it's Elena from Starbright Arts. I hope that you've been enjoying the pack so far and I'm here today to talk about the very special pack, the Island of Me pack that you'll be receiving for your child. You might have received it already or you might be going to collect it soon um, but I'm going to be talking about it and the first thing to say is that it's probably really important for you to have a little look through the pack first uh, before your child has a chance to kind of go inside and look at all the things. Um, there's a little bit of an order. If you're able to follow the order, that would be brilliant. Um, so I'm going to talk about each little item that you'll receive in the pack and uh, talk about how you can use it. So the first thing that you can use is the cardboard tube. You can pop the lid off and inside you will find three sheets. There's um, a template of a map, there is a little help sheet for the map of me and you can help your child to go through that sheet and make the areas on their island. Um, they can talk about their favourite things but there's also an area for the sea of worry. So you can have a little chat about what things you're going to put on the map and then they can have a go at drawing onto the, the template of the map that they've received or they might like to draw their own map. It's entirely up to them and you if you would like to help them too. So that's the first thing. Get ready for the next one. So the next thing to do is to turn their um, tube into a telescope and this is because uh, you will have received in the pack as well um, these all about feelings cards and there'll be a selection of cards you'll find some with some instructions on of other games that you can play with them and uh, the cards look a little bit like this so there'll be a picture on one side and the child has to think about what this little character might be feeling and whether or not they've felt ever felt that way if they haven't then maybe you could share a time that you might have felt like that and then they can write um, what they think it is on that card and pop it in their rucksack but what you will have had to have done before that is hide the a selection of these cards around your house and so that they can go off and have a little look for the cards and use the telescopes and you can play the hot and cold game. So if you get if they're getting hotter to a card or closer to a card, sorry, then uh, you can say, oh, you're getting hotter. Or if they're too far away, you can say, oh, you're really cold. Um, but this is a really lovely thing to do because once you've finished it, once you've had a discussion about these feelings, um, then you can also talk about how sometimes we hide our feelings and that can sometimes be a bit of a, a thing that everybody does but actually it's really important to share how we're feeling whether that be um, like positive feelings or negative feelings it's just really really important to share those things so I hope you have fun with that Another item that you'll find in the rucksack is a box with special treasure on. And inside that, there are four little treasure boxes that aren't decorated, but your child can decorate them with the four sayings on home, school, friends and family. And in your carer pack, you will have received a little bag of coins and you can be in charge of the coins and uh, you can ask your child to share a thought, a positive or negative thought about any of these things and then when they share that thought they'll receive a little coin to pop inside the box it's just a really fun way to for them to share how they're feeling about these different elements um, and I hope that it provides a nice little safe safe way to do so The next activity, which is possibly the messiest one, um, but I'll tell you some little handy hints so that you can get prepared for it, um, is to make um, a little bottle um, for feelings using sand. So you'll have received a little Ziploc bag with lots of little packets of sand with different feelings written on them already. And what I would do is just cut a tiny little bit off the corner and there'll be a little funnel in there as well. And your child can think about how they're feeling right now you can have a little discussion about the feelings that are, are mentioned on, on the stickers, on the, on the labels, on the sand. Um, and then uh, the child can choose which ones they want to fill their bottle up. Um, just as a little example, uh, me and my son Zane did this the other day and these were his little feelings. And so you'll also find some little stickers um, and you can write their name and the date on the bottle. Um, there's two bottles in there, so you could do one. Um, now um, or you could do one next week or 
do it in a month just to gauge how they're feeling. And um, these the bottles are quite cheap to pick up. You might you could even just use little sauce jars or something. Um, because there's plenty of sand there, so this might be something that you might like to do every week uh, if you were able to get a few more little little containers. Um, but I hope I hope they enjoy um making those little sand art feeling jars. So those are all the activities that you can have a go with your child. Um, I hope that you enjoy them. If you've got any questions or queries, um, you can either pop them in the group chat or um, on WhatsApp, or you can contact Susie and she can feed that back to us and we can help in any way that we can. Um, I would love to see your photos of the things that your children make. And um, yeah, I hope you have a really, really lovely time making the activities. Bye for now. Bye.